this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. When I think of the self, when I think of a seller, I think of a selfish person who will turn their back on God to indulge in the luxuries of the world. For reference, I go to the Gospel of Matthew, the 19th chapter, 16 through the 22nd verse. Here is the story of Jesus and the rich young ruler. The young man asked uh, Jesus how could he have eternal life. The young man gives Jesus the 911 on what he has done all of his life from his youth till now. Jesus uh, tells him, if you're so perfect, sell everything that you have to the poor and follow me. He had second thoughts and walked away. The young man's willing possessions meant more to him than him being completely sold out for Christ. He rather sell out to the world than to be sold out for Christ. Many of us aren't completely sold out to Christ. Our stuff is too important for us to be completely sold out to him. Time is short, ladies and gentlemen. Time for you to make a firm decision. Are you sold out for Christ or are you a sellout to the world? The time of Jesus' return is soon. We don't have time or the luxury to figure out if we're a sellout or we're sold out. It's time to make the decision now. Now is the acceptable time. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, help us to be sold out to you and not a sellout. Let us not be like the rich young ruler when you ask him to sell all to the poor and follow you. He walked away sadly because he had to give up what he treasured most. You said in Matthew 6, 21, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Help us, Lord, to be 100% sold out to you. In Jesus' name, amen.